Hey dolls, welcome back to our channel and today's video is a different video for me. I have not done one of these before and this is an empties video so I'm just going to be going through with you all the things I've purchased and uh, that I've used up and what my honest opinion is and what my honest opinion is and what my honest opinions are uh, regarding these products. So I hope that this informs you while you're gonna make your purchases. If you know, like you should buy them, or if you should wait on them, or if they're a total X thumbs down. So let's get started, my friends. The first thing up is the eye makeup remover from CVS um, Pharmacy. I purchased this um, it, and a while ago, and um, for me it was a thumbs down because I have sensitive eyelids and um, it was just, it burned, it didn't feel comfortable and also I felt like I had to really rub to get my makeup off and you know I saw some eyelashes in there so it was really not gentle and I didn't like it at all so yeah as you can see there's still some pads inside because I didn't use it all up no this was a thumbs down so if you're thinking about getting these or anything like that if your eyes are sensitive or you have sensitive skin then I would you know pass on this one also here we have the Alme oil free um, eye makeup remover um, and it's like the same concept with the little pads and also for me this was a thumbs down because it also felt like a burning sensation this one was a little bit more intense than the CVS brand but um, still it really bothered my eyes and I it didn't feel like this one really cleaned up all of the makeup I would always have to go back with makeup removing wipes to just get the rest of the eye makeup off and I didn't feel like for $6.29 plus tax like that's something that would be acceptable to me because it's pretty expensive for that and you shouldn't need to go over it with any other product it should just like do whatever it needs to do and that's it right so down they didn't like that one um, I have another um, couple of you know cleaning type of products I have cleaning products and then this one is the fresh soy face cleanser and this was a love 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 because it really removes all of your makeup um, even the waterproof mascara everything you just use a little amount and you know like it foams on your face and then it just you know you wash your face and then it's just all clean it's amazing I really loved it the downside was the price because it's pretty small and this one was like $15 plus tax um, and also I didn't really like the smell because it smells kind of like cucumber if you're into that kind of thing then yeah but I didn't really like the smell but everything else was a thumbs up it really works very well and does what it promises so definitely repurchasing and I did repurchase another one which is a, it was like halfway done so love this product um, the next product up is the Clinique rinse off foaming cleanser um, and it comes like this it's like a little pink bottle and I have a um, normal to oily mixed skin so you know it really removes your makeup it really helps you to feel refreshed and clean after you wash your face in the morning and it does also like help retain moisture in your skin so you don't feel dry and tight like you do with some cleansers you feel like your face is supple and the skin feels good so I used up every last drop of this it was very very good I love this product and definitely um, will repurchase really nice um, the next product up is for the face and this product um, these are the MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powders I have two different tones I have the medium deep and this is the medium dark and I use like one more in the summertime and the other one a little bit more in the winter time just because you know like you get tan and stuff like that um, I love these products because they're very light so like if you're going to be wearing base like I usually do or like foundation like wh whatever you would like to call it it just like seals that step in and that's it it's not gonna add like additional lots of color or anything like that it's just gonna set in what you've already done and it's very light and that's what I really like about it um, the bad part about it is that it's more than $20 and it doesn't really come with much product I went through these two pretty quickly like in a month or less than a month and then I already bought two more so and I'm like the, the other one is like you know how it gets when it's like around the edge like this that's how one of mine is now a little bit more than that and then the other one already has a hole in it so I've already gone through like four in like less than a year and that's a little bit expensive it gets pricey after a while so I don't know if I should go into a different look into a different like brand of you know face powder or something although I really love these and I'm obsessed with them but I feel like they're not 
you know, for everyday use or I guess this is better for touching up or something like that but not to use every day because I feel like I do do my makeup every day so it's a little bit you know kind of disappointing that they are you know like waste so quickly so I'm on the I mean it's a great product thumbs up because of the product thumbs down for the price and the amount of product that it comes with so it's up to you I guess if you want to purchase something like that um, I really like it though um, the next product and I'm making a mess on my couch um, is the MAC another um, powder and this is the skin finish natural mineralize and it's in the medium deep as well I really love this product this does come with a whole lot of products and I feel like it lasted like maybe six months and then it was over but I felt like it was you know really good um, it worked really well I stopped using this one because I didn't feel like it really mattified my face as much as the other one does um, but it does come with more products so maybe I might end up going back to this one I'm not sure I'll let you guys know what I did later on after I'm done with the one that I'm using now then I'll just go back and see what works best for me but yeah this is definitely a thumbs up if you're thinking about buying this um, product I really loved it. it does come with a lot of product in it and it's just a really great product all around and the packaging is good and everything like that the only thing that I would like would be for it to have a mirror but you know that you can't have it all it's really good though um, continuing on with um, facial products it's these beauty balm from Too Faced um, and these were really great I really like these these are good for the summertime when you don't want to wear too much makeup and you just want something light um, and it just you know like it just smooths on really nicely it feels very refreshing and it already has like the moisturizer in it and things like that um, I really liked it um, and I was the tone beach glow so it was pretty good um, the only downside is this if you have lots of you know like marks on your face or you know acne scarring and things like that and that this doesn't really cover that up you would have to go in with concealer and kind of go over those areas but if you have nicer skin and you know, like you just have a random breakout once and again, then this is a great product for you. I got two of these and they're really good. Um, I didn't feel like it comes with a lot of product, but you know, it wasn't that bad. Although it was thirty some dollars, it was a little bit pricey. So I mean, I guess it depends on what your budget's like. But it was a pretty good product and I would definitely repurchase it. So it's a thumbs up. So I'm gonna continue with another um a balm and this is a cc cream and this one is from um cover effects i'm in the shade i'm the shade and deep it's really nice it's i didn't feel like it was much more um it's like about a little bit more expensive than the Too faced ones but this one is a lot more, has a lot more coverage it's very like you could it seems more like a base or you know foundation like about a foundation for me I really like that this one was very you know it had a lot of coverage and so I didn't have to go back in with concealer unless it was like something really horrible on my face that I needed to cover so I felt like this was a really great product um, it doesn't come with a lot either but you need a lot less product to cover your face because it's so concentrated so I love it and it also has you know like SPF 30 so I mean there's not much wrong to do here so it's definitely a thumbs up for me it's an awesome product you should definitely think about this one if you've been looking at it if you have your eye on it definitely go for it it's awesome so now I'm gonna go into um, the next product the next product is the Clinique all about eyes and I just I love this product it comes with so much product and it really leaves the area around your eyes supple and you know full of moisture and ready to and prepped for the eye makeup um, I love the amount like I said and the price wasn't too bad and the only downside is that you do have to dip your finger in so it's a little bit you know susceptible to like contamination and things like that so you just make sure that your hands are clean before you um, use the product so you don't get like any infections or anything like that um, but other than that it was an amazing product and I would definitely repurchase it because I really really liked how it felt and it really kept this area hydrated and so you don't see much of that you know like fine line thing happening or anything like that so definitely if you're considering it purchase thumbs up and I'm gonna continue on with the with a couple of primers I have these two that I finished up and the first one is the Sephora one the ultra smoothing primer and I have to say this was a thumbs down for me because I felt like this product was just 
I bought it and I didn't realize that I could return it and exchange it until like after it was like only a little bit left and I didn't think that they would do it then you know so I was just like let me just finish it up because I already purchased it and whatever but like if I apply any lotions or anything under you know even though I let them dry and sit and everything on my face this would always pill after I would put it on so I had lots of little balls all over my face and I would have to like take like my brush and clean it off and then start my, my makeup and I felt like it was time consuming and that shouldn't be happening and every time it didn't matter what um, if, even if I didn't put on any, a lot of lotions underneath it would still do this so um, it was definitely I would never repurchase this again it was like a waste of my time and money um, and then here we have the hourglass um, primer and this is the veil I got the small sample sized one which is like about $15 it was pretty expensive but I love this product. It was really nice. Um, it didn't leave. It left your face not too dewy, not too dry, and before your makeup, so it was just right. Um, that I I, was, I just really loved the product. It only comes with a little bit, which is the downside. Um, and the other downside is that the full size product is like you know very expensive. So it depends on how much money you want to spend on the primer. But I felt like this was absolutely fabulous. It's a thumbs up for the product. Thumbs down for the price. So I guess it's up to you how much you want to spend, but love, love, love. Um, and I'm going to continue with the next product um, from Smashbox. And this is the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Cold Liner in the color Bare. And I love Smashbox's products. They're really awesome. This product, not so much because honestly, um, it was like more than $20. And it does keep it always sharp, so every time you're gonna open it, it sharpens it, so it's always at a point. But um, as you're sharpening it, it, does take off some of the product. So by the time by the time I used it 10 times or 11 or 12 times, it was already over. So I was like, really? For $22, it's already done. That's not worth the time or money. I could just get something from NYX. It's gonna do the same thing, and you know, even though it's not always sharp, at least I'll have it for at least three or four months. So this was definitely thumbs down Smashbox Benefit Back Out Lash and I have to say I was absolutely in love with this I obsessed with this as soon as I bought it um, it does make my eyelashes super thick and long and beautiful um, it was a beautiful um, purchase here's the brush it's very thick and fluffy like I like them and it really does what it says it really makes the, those eyelashes really pop so if you're looking for a good mascara this is a great choice for you is a great product from Benefit. Definitely love thumbs up. Um, and I continue with um, two lip balms and this one they have one from EOS and the other one from Nivea. They are both very good. Um, the Nivea one was very um, moisturizing um, and I really like how it left my lips supple and things like that. And then the other EOS one, this is the vanilla bean, the one that comes in the tube. And I have to say I had this one inside of my car and I used it every single day this winter and it just I loved it because it was so so moisturizing it really locked in the moisture because I do get my like a lot of dryness on my lips and I mean if I had to repurchase one of these I would definitely go with the vanilla bean EOS so if you're thinking about getting a lip balm or a lips chapstick or thing like that this is a great purchase love 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 and now um, I have three items left um, and the first one is the Sally Hansen cuticle massage cream with apricot oil so I got this, you know, just to apply onto my cuticles because I do get I do get them like messed up pretty pretty frequently. So that's why you know like, I get like to have these type of products so I can moisturize. Um, and like I noticed that it kept I didn't use it that often, and it just seemed like I was using it up so quickly. And I'm like, what is going on? And then one day I opened it, and it was just gone. It had evaporated. So I was like, wow, you know, like you buy something to use whatever you need, and not for it to this up here so this was definitely a thumbs down no good Sally Hansen you need to have products that stick around not that evaporate and um, I have two more products this is the Mac Indian wood paint pot um, and it looks like this it's like a kind of like a rose gold bronzy color um, it was really beautiful while it was dry well it was you know usable and I still have plenty of product left and then suddenly it was getting cracked and dry pretty soon after I purchased it like maybe I would say maybe a month later it was already getting cracked 
and then I would use it but it would be hard to get some product onto the lids and then suddenly it was just all dry, bone dry and I was like this is very expensive like I have no idea what's going on um, so it was like I don't know maybe just this tone because I've had I have another one from Mac and I noticed that happening to that one so like Indian one if you're thinking about that one um, I'm not so sure maybe I had a bad luck with it or something but thumbs down and last but not least is liquid palisade um, I purchased this on beauty.com and I was really excited because you're supposed to apply this onto your nails around your nail um, and then peel it off so if you make mistakes then you don't have to worry about it and so I was going to do that I was really excited about it um, and I used it like maybe three times and on the fourth time when I went to use it it was dry and this was like $22 plus tax and shipping um, I only used this amount of it so it, the next time I went to use it it was already dry and turned into like a gunky mass like a rubber and I'm like really for $22 that's not something that I would repurchase even though they had a great concept next time I'll just use some Elmer's glue because I'm not spending $22 on something that's gonna dry out so quickly so thumbs down liquid palisades so ladies that was all of my empties is a quite a long video but I hope that this is something informative for you guys because I know that sometimes when we're going on shopping we just see things our eyes get filled with excitement and we just want to grab everything but I hope that this video helps you to make wise choices while you're purchasing things while you're shopping so I just want to give you guys a kiss mwah, mwah, a hug and see you guys next time bye love you so much and thank you make sure that you subscribe and like this video if it was helpful to you and i love you guys thank you so much